A question in the front row here, please. A question, I guess, maybe for Shane. Uh, the film and yourself are at the forefront of a wave of movies that are getting co financed or co produced in the East as well as the West. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about your experience and in many ways the trailblaze of what's coming over the next few years? I, I don't know that the. the I'm at the forefront of that. I think that this movie represented an opportunity to uh, strike a deal and, and do a co-financing thing. It's not something I know a lot about. It's something I let other people negotiate and then I sort of participate as, as needs be. And um, I think it'll be interesting to see the way that this is co-released with a separate version in uh, China and one here. I think it's all fascinating stuff, but it's way over my head, frankly, in terms of giving you any predictions. Uh, young gentleman in the front row there. How much did you pay him? <laughs> how much? How much did you pay him? This is definitely Just a say how much you paid him. <laughs> Let's have dinner. <laughs> um, again, I, I think what I really liked about this was, you know, in a post-adventurous world, we just ask questions. Wouldn't he be a little bit freaked out? And then that wound up being part of the theme, you know? I mean, we're... Uh, Sir Ben is right in that you know, some of the stuff we just, we didn't rest on our laurels, but we exacted it, you know, as it was. And a lot of the stuff, we were very flexible. We were often talking about things. I think what Sir Ben isn't telling you is that there was other scenes and parts in the movie where essentially we would throw any and every idea we could at him and he would bounce it back and it could have been in the movie because he was throwing uh -huh. heat uh -huh. like it was uh, the sixth game of the World Series and he was the winning pitcher. Um, and Don and I would just kind of uh, play off that. But also with, with, you know, Gwyneth and I have made a habit of doing that with Tony and Pepper. And when Rebecca joined us, as she operates in both the past, Tony's past, she's kind of the prime mover of the story moving forward. All these things, we try to be as flexible as possible. But the trauma thing to me was just, again, asking the question and getting away from this, we can't beat the spectacle of Avengers. So let's ask the, wouldn't it actually be like this if we were back in Tony's world? Thank you. Go ahead. I adore you. Um, just, yeah, just along from where you are, the microphone, and then we'll come to you, sir. Hi, Ben from Men's Fitness Magazine. I've got a two-part question for Robert. Can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> uh, a two-part question. Um, you're in great shape for the film. Was there anything specific you had did in terms of training or gym work to get in shape for the role? And then the second part, uh, of all the film roles you've done, uh, which was the most physically challenging and why? I'm required to say that I was doing some Tracy Anderson training. One of pals really central too. Um, I hate to say it, Don is actually in better shape than I am. No, no. And he's more physically capable. But I'm not going to let it stay like that. <laughs> no, that is true. When fitness magazines are asking me what I'm up to, that's what moves me. <laughs> I want there to be no question that the dialogue between Don and I on who's more fit is going to end with Iron Man 17. <laughs> Old guys jacked up on growth hormone. That's it. <laughs> 
I think I think any of us uh, could say that who, who've been around before. So I think for Don and Gwyneth and I, we all moved around more than we uh, <laughs> expected to. And yeah, I think this one was this one was tough. Yeah. <laughs> okay, gentlemen over here, the microphone there, sir. <laughs> 